truly has changed my life. Does that make any sense? I'm trying my best, y'all. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are good. I hope you watched my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I am seeing that 70% watch my videos without being subscribed eh -eh. please subscribe and let's go today we're gonna talk about journaling which is a very popular request that i get all the time because i journal every single day i've been doing that for over a year almost one and a half years i can finally say with confidence that it truly has changed my life i did quite some things that changed my life for the better but journaling is the biggest contributor for a better mental state for more happiness and whatever we all want in life right why do i love journaling so much so first of all i'm a very hypersensitive type everything that's going on around me i take in everything that's going on in the world i take in i take in everything that i see hear read watch like I'm so sensitive and in order to cope with this sensitivity and also the confusion that this world <laughs> creates, um, it's very helpful to journal. Sometimes you think you're thinking 1000 different thoughts and you can't seem to find a structure and that's where journaling comes in because when you write things down, you have to put in structure. That's like how words and sentences work. You can't just write the way you think. You have, you're literally forced to create structure. Now I'm gonna talk about the ways it changed my life for the better. So first of all, it centers me. So for example, if I have a problem or I think I have a problem, journaling really helps me to center myself because it's this safe place that I come back to where I can structure my thoughts, everything that's going on in my life. It puts things in perspective. So if you're like me, who is a highly emotional person and who loves to exaggerate things, I'm the CEO of exaggerating. That really helps to put things in perspective. When I do something that's, let's say, not great, for example, I am shooting a project for a brand that I absolutely love and I'm giving my best and then it turns out like shit. What do I do? I tell myself that I suck, I don't know how to do my job well, that no brand will ever work with me again, all these crazy things. And then when I write it down, I'm like, ooh, this sounds so stupid. This is not true. So it really helps to get a bit of distance to whatever you're currently dealing with and realize most problems are not as bad as you think they are. It really helps me to think clearly. That goes back to the point where I said that you're forced to structure your thoughts. It really helps you to get a good judgment, which I think is so important in life. It really helps me to become more confident. And it's because in my journal, I always write about small wins. I didn't do it on purpose. I just wrote down, oh, today I managed to organize my day better. Today I reached out to mom and dad. Like, you know, these really, really small wins that you would usually forget by writing them down, it gives you more self-assurance. It gives you more confidence that you can do all these things that you wanna do. It was funny because I watched a TED talk or I read it somewhere that people who are happier in life are the ones who also celebrate their small wins consciously. And I was doing it without knowing this information and it's scientifically proven. I should be a scientist, I'm just kidding. It kind of keeps track of your life. I think one day I do something really big, like something really, really world changing. This way I can track back my life and see what led me to this big thing that I will do in the future. I still think the best is yet to come. My big moment is still ahead. And also it's really funny to go back and reread the stuff that you've been so worried about. For example, once I got really upset because a friend of mine unfollowed me 
and it made me really sad and I was so bothered and I was even more bothered about the fact that I was bothered and then I wrote it down I mean that's when I started doing morning pages and I would be like da -da -da -da. and then like a few months <laughs> I read back and I was like are you, okay? are you okay it's so irrelevant and honestly there's much worse problems but in that moment I feel like you know when we have issues and most of our issues are not life-threatening but we or our body and mind makes it seem like it's something terrible while in reality it's just minor things that are whatever and it's really funny to look back let's get to the practical stage which is how to journal okay these are four out of six journals from the past one and a half years I will talk about them. So this is the company that I like to get my journals from, but they're pricey, so I'm not sure if I recommend it. They're just really pretty. Then again, I fill those pages up so fast that I'm like, I think I want a more affordable version. I think one book is like 30 bucks or so. It's called Nuna. It's pretty though. I have to admit, it's really pretty. This is my current journal. It's from the same company. Also slightly overpriced, but it looks good. I mean. This is cool, you know. And then I have a Moleskin book for my evening journals. I think what's great about dated journals, I will show you. Uh huh. This is what I started last year. And you see the date. Yes, it's an empty page. I will explain why. It kind of forces you to stick through. There's no way you will have empty pages in your book, right? Yes, it's an empty page. I bought a Moleskine dated journal and I started writing and I was so lost. I'm like, what do I even write? And then I started writing my to do's, which is not the point of a journal. <laughs> but it's also funny because I gave up. Of course, I gave up. And then January 18th, 2020, I started again. I was like, okay, this time I will pull through. And my very first one, <laughs> I cannot believe how much time has gone by since I wrote down something for the last time. It's really funny how perception is sometimes. I usually write in German, so when I'm gonna read out some passages from my diary entries, it might take a little while to translate in my head. But it's so funny because like the first page, for example, I left, I left empty space here, like that would never happen today. So here I still didn't know what to do. I started writing down my plan for the day, like 11.30 I'm meeting Christy, at 1 p.m. I'm going to Soho House, like this is not how you use a journal. Then I started journaling every single day. <laughs> what do you write in a journal? I journal twice per day. It's not that I have so many issues in life. I think I'm, I'm very mentally stable and happy and still I love to journal twice per day because it's not just writing about problems, it's especially structuring my thoughts and getting clear about my mind. We have morning pages, which are all these books. And the morning pages I started doing later. I started doing them in October last year. So it's been almost half a year and I've been doing them every single day since. Morning pages are pages that you write in the morning. You don't say. It's from this book, The Artist's Way, which is like a very famous book for creatives as me. Because as a creative, you know, you deal with a lot of bullshit. What I would really suggest you, do a personality test, for example, on 16 personalities. I do it like every one to two years and it's really funny how your personality also changes. Like I'm always going back and forth between introvert and extrovert. And then read whatever it says about you because it really helps you to understand yourself. And I think understanding yourself is key for happy, successful life. So I am a big dreamer, as you know. I'm really good at visualizing the future, but I'm really bad at maintaining my daily task and like organizational stuff, structure. And this is why journaling is really important for me because it helps me to put my visions into actions and visions without actions are worth nothing. And you don't need to read the book to start with morning pages. What it basically is, you write down every morning three pages. That's it. You just write about whatever, whatever comes to mind. To compare, 
the evening journal is more like a diary. I write about what happened during the day, what I learned, what really inspired me, what was good, what made me happy, what I'm grateful for, you know. It's kind of a diary because it's only one page. You can't go into too much depth. If you're currently working through something, that's not gonna be enough. Um, and that's why I love morning pages because you are writing three pages every single day. It probably sounds a lot to you and you write whatever comes to your mind. This is more for like thoughts, especially trains of thoughts. What I'm thinking about, um, about my goals, about my future, about things that currently bother me and really a lot about my emotions. Like this makes me feel that way and I also always have to pause and think, okay, how does it make me feel? It's kind of like talking to your therapist every morning. I don't want to discredit anybody, but I think that journaling is the best therapeutic thing you can do for yourself. But sometimes I just don't know what I write about and that happened kind of a lot in the beginning. It doesn't happen anymore. I mean, at least not often, because it happened recently. I was like, I, I don't know what to write about. Like, you literally write whatever comes to your mind. So if you don't know what to write about, that's usually what you write about. <laughs> Sounds weird, but trust me. It also takes time to really get into the whole like, ripping all the benefits from this. So you have to stick through it. You have to push through. I must be honest, I don't always write in the morning because sometimes I oversleep. Sometimes I have appointments really early, sometimes this and that, like anything can happen and sometimes I write in the afternoon or in the evening. Like sometimes when I'm really stressed throughout the entire day and I'm so busy, I write in here first and then in my evening journal. <laughs> and you know, sometimes I also love to make them work together. If I have a creative challenge or whatever issue, and I don't know how to deal with it. Then I write in my evening diary, I'm like, please universe, help me find a solution for this and that. And then you sleep and then your subconscious is doing all the work. And I mean, you have eight hours of sleep to work through these things. And then you wake up and of course your subconscious, which we still don't really understand. And then you wake up and you do your morning pages and the solution comes to you. I know it sounds crazy. I'm gonna go through the questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. <laughs> Digital writing or handwriting? Listen, listen up y'all. It has to be a handwriting. This is also scientifically proved. Everything I tell you is scientifically backed up. When you write with your hand, something happens <laughs> that science cannot explain. It is a, a whole nother thing than typing. And you will never recreate the same effect when you type or when you put something in your phone. Never. You have to write with your hand. How often? I journal twice per day, but that doesn't mean that after you watch this video, <laughs> you should journal twice per day. I would recommend you start with one thing. I would recommend to start with data journal because that's really an easy way to start because it forces you to write on every single day. Once you get the habit of doing this every night before you go to bed, you can add the morning pages. But if you're currently dealing with like lots, I can also recommend you to start with the morning pages, but don't do both at once because I think if you've never journaled before, it will be quite overwhelming. And then you can create habit checklist so you're accountable for your journaling. So you stick through it. It really becomes a habit. For me, it's so natural. And I think it might sound crazy to people that I write four pages every single day, but it's so easy. It's like, I mean, we, we brush our teeth and it's normal. And that's the same <laughs> what journaling becomes. Uh, people ask if I follow guidelines. I do not follow guidelines because I don't like, but that's a personal thing, you know, I don't like the whole rules, you have to do it like this. Blah, blah, blah. There are no rules. Whatever you want to do, you can do. How do you avoid not being repetitive in your journal? Guys, you will be repetitive as <laughs> That's just the way it is. I wrote about stuff a year ago that I laugh about and then I wrote about stuff a year ago that I'm still writing about. I'm still dealing with the same kind of insecurity just on another level. It gets better. I think you should really not worry and that's what really fascinates me because people are so worried about what's in their journal and I'm like nobody will read it. You're not writing 
a bestseller. This is for you, for you only. Always write for you. Never write for somebody else. Never write with the thinking that somebody else will read it. It really has to be something super personal. Do you force yourself to do it twice per day or only when you're in a mood? When you only do the things you're in a mood for, you'll never accomplish anything in life. That's the truth. If I only do what I'm in the mood for, I wouldn't be doing this YouTube video. I love doing it, but I wasn't in the mood when I started. I'm never in the mood with everything that I start. I mean, sometimes I'm in the mood to work out, but usually it takes me willpower. So never ever think that things just come easily. To everybody who's successful or does things that you admire, it doesn't come easy to everybody. Yes, it's something I make myself do and it's something where the benefit is so great that I will never stop. How did I start journaling or why? I mean, my life is pretty crazy. It's pretty amazing, but pretty crazy. And also it has changed in a quite short amount of time. And things happened so fast. It felt like they happened within the blink of the eye. And, and I was really overwhelmed, especially when I started attire. I was really overwhelmed with life, with like my two businesses, with handling everything. Sometimes it just got a lot and I was like, I don't know if I can handle it. But in order to accomplish my goals, I have to handle it. And that's why I started journaling because I want to become a better human. I want to become a better business person. I want to become kinder and wiser. And I really noticed since I journaled that I've become so much more calm and it's very hard to get me out of balance. Of course I have bad days. I mean, we all have bad days, but generally I'm very, it's very hard to irritate me unless I'm hungry, then we're not kidding. And also my sleep. I mean, even though last year was the toughest year in many ways. I've never ever slept so well. I definitely blame the journal for it. How can it help making our business idea get to life? It can also help you elevate your business to the next step. I mean, the best ideas that I get for my business and my career and my next steps or my goals come only during meditating or during journaling. Like these two are my powerhouses for creative ideas. Do you listen to music? I mean, that's my favorite thing in the world to do. I put on a really good playlist. So whatever you love to hear, I love deep electronic. It really makes me come to life. And then I journal and then I'm in this whole state of flow. It really feels magical. Like sometimes my journaling experience was so intense that I would cry, but not because I was sad, just because it was so beautiful. Okay, that sounds really weird, but it's true. How to motivate when you have long days of working and you're exhausted. I mean, my entire routine is an hour that I dedicate every day to myself. For example, when I was in the plane, instead of napping, which I always do, I forced myself to write down in my journal. It's not always perfect, you know, you won't always have great practices. You won't always have great journaling days. Like that's an illusion, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. What if you feel bad? Okay, if you feel bad and you journal, it's not like you're gonna journal about how terrible you are, what a mess of a human you are, which might happen. I mean, I think I do have some negative entries, but overall, I really try to be neutral. I really try to write from a perspective that there's always hope, there's always some kind of control over my reactions. And every time I feel upset, it really brings me to the other side where I'm motivated and hopeful focus on everything good even if you don't believe it like if you don't believe it but say i messed this up but it doesn't mean that i'm a bad human it means that i learned from it and that i will do better in the future and then you move on i mean this will never replace real therapy if you have actual mental issues please seek out a therapist i am not in the position to recommend journaling as a real therapy if you have real mental issues but for everyday life struggles this is very helpful okay and now i'm gonna read out some parts from my morning journal let's let's see i seriously don't know what to write about <laughs> wait if money were no object how would i spend my time i almost think i would move to the beach in california or to a farm and spend my time there. Maybe I would get bored. When I would stay in Paris, then I would always work out with a personal trainer in the morning. 
then cook, then meetings with my <laughs> multi-billion company. Okay, okay, it's sad when money doesn't play a role. This is kind of hard. Like I said, I would make sports <laughs> and I would read a lot and I would do a lot of creative things like writing, painting in my atelier, <laughs> produce music. I would do a lot with friends and a lot of charity work. I mean, they can be random like that. That happens. Okay, let's do another one. I am asking the universe to bring me the right people for retire. I want to have an amazing team and create magic. I hope that one day I will read this and smile because I'm proud. Because I've always known it would, ha it would happen. It's kind of crazy that I'm turning 30. I am so scared of dying. I love life so much that I really want to enjoy it as long as possible. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do this one. By the way, I wrote in here even when I was on a party vacation on Mykonos. So, no excuses, guys. <laughs> I can't even read my own writing. I miss Paris so much. I think I'm at a point that I want to leave my apartment in Hamburg since my <laughs> since my plants are gone in Hamburg the apartment means less to me <laughs> yeah I talk about my shooting for a tire it's kind of boring but um, yeah you also write a lot about boring stuff let's see here okay this is another morning page from November yesterday was a really good day the morning but also the evening I am getting there. I woke up today and I thought that the sparkle is back. I listened to a playlist and I had such a good vibe. And then I thought I should explore more different kind of music. I should try all kind of different things. I think that this phase of my life is called expanding my mind and horizon. Okay, let's do a more current one. I am just so exhausted. It's a lot right now and I can't do it effortless. I never want to be one of these try-hard influences. I don't know. I just ask myself if this is the right path. I feel so stupid sometimes to do so much social media, <laughs> even though it's my speciality. So you see, sometimes I'm also negative. And I will read out some of my evening journals to show you the difference between those <laughs> Today was finally the day where I spent less time on my phone. It ended up being four hours, but at least not seven or eight. Oh, wow, that was a lot. And um, this was kind of the perfect day. I slept really well. I went jogging. I did 20 minutes of hit. I meditated. I showered cold. I went um, grocery shopping. I did cooking, read a book, learned so much, cleaned up the apartment, deleted old photos. I really did a lot today. I almost made my entire to-do list. To spend less time on my phone means having more time to live. Currently Bon Iver is playing and I did so much today and this is really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually really funny. I just wanted to ask how are you feeling until I realized that this is just a journal and I'm only writing for myself. I'm doing good, thanks for asking. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a weirdo, you know, when you're a weirdo, it, it, it happens in your journal. It, it just <laughs> reflects who you are. Oh, hi journal. I just wanted to ask you how you're feeling. Um, okay, let's do another one because I really enjoy those. It's 1 a.m. and it's way too late, but still I want to finish this journal and that's a really good sign. This is how routine feels like. I think I just had the, one of the coolest trips I've ever done. Oh, we played so much and I was <laughs> winning in a lot of things. <laughs> I also tried to talk to new people today and not always with the same. And it was really good because I went out of my skin. For example, I wrote this exactly a year ago and it's still the problem I have today. The interesting thing about me is that I am really indecisive. The content that I do or that I compare myself with others. And today I once again realized and it's the most important to stay true to yourself. But at the same time, you have to be state of the art. So you kind of have to adapt. There are trends. For example, a few years ago, it was dreamy and girly. 
and that doesn't work anymore. Now it's curated, even though all these accounts look the same. <laughs> I'm currently reading Range and it's really interesting. The chapter about learning. It's better to learn a lot of different things at the same time instead of focusing on one topic alone. If you focus on one topic alone it's easy but it doesn't teach you the way to think abstractly. The biggest geniuses are not good in learning by heart but in thinking abstractly. You analyze a problem and even without experience you know what to do. Random question. But why is my handwriting currently so ugly? <laughs> I just love that I talk to my book. Okay, last one. After I messed up on Monday, I gave up the rest of the week. Typical me. Today, I saw a little sweet girl and she was missing half an arm. That broke my heart. The little girl is so strong. While we walk around with healthy bodies and take it for granted, then I had to cry. But I also felt immense gratefulness at the same time. Thank you God for everything that you make possible for me. I am so grateful. I have to take these lessons that I learn, use them to make the life of other people better. I am so lucky in life and I am so thankful. I hope one day I can do big things that will make the lives of millions of people better. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How do I feel? I feel good. I feel overwhelmed, maybe a little bit messy, but also really optimistic. Everything will be alright. Everything will be alright. I just hope that one day I will find my place in life. I, I am so scared that after New York my life will still be messy. <laughs> I love how I thought that I'm just going to New York. I hope this is just a phase and not a feeling for life. So you see, those were my journal entries. It's really fun to read and and those were random pages that I opened. I didn't mark them. Let me know if you have any questions. I will talk to you in the comment section as always. My favorite thing to do. Thank you so much for watching this, for your support. Let me know if you have any questions, any video ideas, whatever you want to see from me, how I can make your life better. <laughs> Let me know and I hope to see you next week again every week.